Oops. Slap it. Flip oh, flip it, it over. I do. I feel really cool. This is, hi. Oh, hey. Hey, hi, my name is Eric from the Spruce Eats, and my one thing is to have Tom from the Clover Club show us how to make a cocktail so you can look cool at your New Year's Eve party. I have no idea why you shake a cocktail, how you shake a cocktail, how to look cool while shaking a cocktail, and I wanna learn that. Okay, so we can back way up. There's a lot to talk about. The main reason that you shake a cocktail well, obviously it's to mix all the ingredients. Also, shaking is the best way to get something really, really cold. Any cocktail that has citrus juice in it or any fresh non-alcoholic ingredients should be shaken. And then concurrently, anything that has all alcohol-based ingredients, like something like a martini or a Manhattan, should be stirred. Today we're gonna do a play on a margarita, sort of with some holiday theme in there. Did they tell you that tequila is my favorite? Is that why you brought this drink? You did mention that, although <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, actually, you know what? Yes, yes, I was told. <laughs> half an ounce of orange liqueur. There are lots of different kinds of cocktail shakers. Uh, we're gonna use what's called a two-piece shaker, which is when you have two pieces that just wedge together. That's my favorite kind of shaker, but often people have what's called a three-piece shaker or a cobbler shaker, which has the little piece for straining out of the top. But I wanna learn how to use this how one, because that's the one that makes you look cool. That is why, one main <laughs> reason why I think that people should use it. Half an ounce of lime juice, a cinnamon syrup, cranberry juice, Add all your ingredients into the shaker first before adding your ice. I often like to say ice is to cocktails what heat is to food. It's the thing that like transforms this mixture of ingredients into a finished cocktail. So I put all my ingredients in, I filled it with ice. You put the top piece on at an angle so that one side is totally flush, there's no gap. Then you give it a pop with the heel of your hand and it will form a seal. Then you flip it around and uh, I like to shake with the mouth of the larger tin or vessel facing me, because God forbid, if, if it does come undone, it comes up, ends up all over you and not like whoever you might be shaking for. Okay. You want to hold it horizontally. The whole point is get the ice moving back and forth. So if you shake like this, that's not really gonna happen. I think it's a good idea to have at least a finger on either end. I like to hold it up by my ear. So do one of these, uh, let your elbows be the joint that's making it move, not like your whole body. So yeah, as you go for it, shake as hard as you can. Doesn't matter how you shake, just that you shake hard for about eight to 10 seconds. Now, uh, we're gonna separate these two. And so you hold it from the bottom, uh, up in the air, and you just sort of hit it, and okay. it comes undone. Served on the rocks. Oh, it looks very festive. Yeah. And there you go. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. We don't have any, enough ice, maybe? Oh wait, not ice first. Ha ha, I remembered. All right, big one of tequila. Yes. Orange liqueur. Like little tip, yeah. not the thing you're doing wrong, but just like no. as a helpful tip when you're, uh, what's called jiggering. Little side fact that the name jiggers is just because in the 19th century when this thing was invented, no one could think of a better name for it, and they just called it a thingamajig, ah. and jiggers is short for that. Anyway, holding it right next to the vessel, the shaker is good as opposed to on top, because then you have to move it to pour it. Cranberry juice, little guy. Oops. All right, now the ice. It's time for the ice. Now it's time to light the fuse. This ice is hard to get out. This I'm gonna remember. This goes in here. Mm -hmm. Slap it. And you would maybe test it first. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna do this. Right, and ideally maybe, <laughs> it looks great, but if, uh, I would say flip oh, it around. It <laughs> I do, I feel really cool. So then I have to karate chop in the right spot. Just hold it up, in oh, the, right. not on the, on the table, and around the seam, because okay. that'll absorb the shock. Right and here? it's sort of like the heel of your hand. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna do it, guys. No. No, you got it, you got it. Oh, I did get you it. You did. Look at that. That, like, crack, uh -huh. that's the air escaping. Let's do this. Okay, you did a great job. Congratulations. I feel good. You I looked good. good, you looked cool. Yeah. We're just gonna throw a garnish on these just for some color contrast. We'll throw in some orange slices and because there's the cinnamon in there, a cinnamon stick. This is a totally professional looking, delicious it, tasting it, cocktail for your holiday party. It looks amazing. To our accomplishments, to your Cheers. accomplishments. Cheers. Thank you so much. Oh, so good. So good. Nice right. work. Thanks man. 
Tom, thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. And if you want to check out Tom, go to the Clover Club. And <laughs> you don't. Uh, Tom. <laughs> if you enjoyed learning how to make this cocktail, please check out more One Thing videos on thespruceeats.com.